The new Meta Ray-Ban display glasses have just surfaced. Here's what's new and what we know. These glasses will come with a monocular HUD, which stands for heads-up display, in the right lens. This will allow you to use maps, messages, and Meta AI replies at just a glance. You'll be able to see that within the glasses. There's also going to be an SEMG wristband that enables subtle finger gestures to air type. Now that I said that air type your responses and control the HUD without touching the frame. So this is going to be very interesting and very cool. The next thing they are talking about now, remind you, these are all rumors until the official glasses have launched, are going to be on lens translations. So you can point at text and see translated results directly in view. So this is going to be a game changer. This is supposed to be better than the current generation of the Ray-Ban Metas, which I'm wearing right now, as you can see, because it adds a true heads up display. The existing Ray-Bans, these, they don't have any heads up display with them within them whatsoever. Again, these glasses are great for camera and audio, but they have no lens screen. So that's gonna be the biggest, the biggest uh, difference within these new glasses. But I will say this, they, the new glasses are supposed to have a thicker, a thicker arm to, to hide all that technology within it. So keep that in mind. They are gonna be a little bit thicker and bigger than the current generation. So the other aspect of the heads up display, it will give you turn by turn navigation while you're walking. So this works great for if you're out in the city or town or wherever that you're unaware of the surroundings, you're new to the area. This will give you that navigation that you'll be able to see in real time right through the lens. As stated earlier, it's gonna be thicker on the arms. It's gonna be the same familiar Ray-Ban styling, but the arms will be a lot thicker. These will likely be revealed this week at MetaConnect, and the price point, again, this is all speculation, they're supposed to be starting around $800, which for me, I think that's pretty steep, but if the technology is there and makes them worth it, possibly. For our viewers, $800 is kind of steep, and especially in this economy, that's going to be uh, a real hard one to swallow. So why I feel this is going to be great for our viewers, our 55 and over crowd, it's going to have glanceable directions and messages to reduce you having to check your cell phone, which is great. Anytime that you don't have to reach in your pocket or your bag and grab your cell phone makes life a lot easier, right? This is going to have easier input. Wristband gestures beat noisy voice commands and also the tiny tapping that we have to do on the current the current model right now. Clearer communication can help with on lens translations to help in busy or multilingual environments. These are just leaks. Note any of these things I've told you today are subject to change, but this is the information that we've gotten a hold of and we wanted to share it with you. So what are your thoughts? Do you think you'll pick up a new pair of these Ray-Ban Metas when they come out? If you already have the current version, are you going to upgrade? We'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Please put them in the comments below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button because it helps us with sharing this message to people just like yourself. There's also a new feature on YouTube called Hype. If you're able to hit the Hype button for this video, it gives us a lot of help with being able to spread our message, but also with reaching people just like yourself. Thank you for watching the video and we will see you in the next one. Stay safe out there.